Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Taz Aldor. I'm a Bradford GP, and uh, thank you for inviting me here today. I'll take full advantage of the 10 minutes. I've got a couple uh, an animation and a video to show you. So uh, I'm the CEO of Dockerbode, and um, this is an online platform which aims to match clinicians with the needs of patients in real time. And it was developed out of a real problem um, in urgent care. Uh, I'm also the director of the GP Out of Hours that covers West Yorkshire. And we've got really two main issues. It's a very limited workforce, and it's very difficult to recruit and retain that workforce. And that's just the GPs. Um, they're in very limited supply. And um, we've got a growing demanding service, very difficult to meet demand. Um, and just matching capacity to demand is just very, very difficult. Um, I've got some quotes here which are a few years old, but this is happening now. Uh, this is from Simon Abrams. He covers, um, he's a chair of UH UK. That's around 20 million patients in the UK um, of social enterprises that actually cover all the GP out of hours work. Um, and he was worried about it. It's been happening. You might have seen it in various reports, but there is serious risk and, and harm that's coming to patients let alone very poor experience of care from patients in urgent care. So our aim is to widen that network of a flexible and sustainable local clinical workforce. And it's through the intelligent machine learning algorithms and AI that we're looking at matching the needs and the capacity to demand to create that safer, more responsive system. I'll show you an animation that will hopefully tell you more in 90 seconds than I will talk in. When a patient's health need becomes urgent out of hours, they call NHS 111. If they require a home visit, the GP out of hours service dispatches a clinician. But these services normally cover a wide region and urgent care activity has now risen to an unsustainable level. Annually, there are over 800,000 out of hours home visits in England. Limited resources cause persistent delays, allowing patients' symptoms to deteriorate, or worse. That's where Docker Bode comes in. It is a powerful mobile platform which allows healthcare professionals to set their availability to undertake out-of-hours home visits, connecting patients with faster, bespoke healthcare. The visit request comes in, which is matched with clinicians based on their availability, proximity and expertise meaning clinicians are in total control, accepting jobs only when it suits them. A notification prompts them to respond. Once accepted, they can easily access all the vital information needed to conduct the visit. If rejected, the request is simply passed on to the next suitable clinician. With Dockerbode, patients receive speedier home visits attended by the most suitable local clinicians, leading the way towards a sustainable NHS workforce. Be part of something bigger. Sign up now and start delivering urgent care on demand. So that was actually our recruitment video for trials that we ran in summer. Um, and just, uh, some pictures of about what it looks like. There's a back-end portal which the out-of-hours provider was using. And at that point when the core service was unable to meet the demands and needs of patients, that's when we called upon the Dockerville GPs. Um, and I'll just go through a bit what that looks like. So the, the, in terms of milestones that we've been through, we were supported by the HSN as a proof of concept back in December 15, um, where it provided a, a simulated pilot just to see whether there was appetites of clinicians to work in this way. This isn't about shifts. It isn't about um, going through and making yourself available. Most of us are completely knackered throughout the day to put ourselves forward to, to do a shift. This is about when it's suitable and flexible for me and when the NHS and NHS patients need us. And we didn't know you know, it was a concept. So we ran a pilot. It was very successful. It led to us winning the SBRI competition, uh, General Practice of the Future. And we ran trials within um, Leeds and Huddersfield um, over summer. We, as an out-of-hours provider, we get measured on uh, a national quality requirement, and that is to see people within a given time, 95% um, of that time. Unfortunately, with the workforce, with the geography in Leeds, it's activity. We have cars that drive doctors around to patients. Every weekend, every day, every evening, tonight, it will be the same. We just cannot get to patients in time. It leads to significant risk and harm and very poor experience. And ultimately, patients go to A&E uh, or 999 when they could have been managed at home. In Huddersfield, it's a very wide geography, and they have different reasons why they fail the NQR there. We spoke to the CCGs in Leeds, federations, LMCs, very supportive. 
We had 53 GPs ap apply. And a part of the case for the out of hours was we need new people, not people who always work out of hours. We still need to rely on them. We need people who just aren't interested in picking up shifts. Uh, and over half had never worked in out of hours. Um, there were many, many hurdles with recruiting the GPs. It was during the summer holiday times. Indemnity was an issue. We had to overcome a lot of these. And we ran it in three weekends during July, August, and September. We had independent evaluation by um, the Faculty of Health Studies from University of Bradford. And we compared weekends either side of the Dockerbird weekend looking at our NQR requirement. And that's in the red bar. And we've never been able to improve our NQR with everything that we've done. And when Dockerbird ran, there was an average of a 15% increase in NQR in those areas, which is highly significant for uh, the GP out of hour service. It took about, well, it took less than 30 minutes from when a doctor accepted a job to when they actually arrived with a patient. And almost half the jobs were actually picked up. We were just hoping that one or two was going to get picked up. Um, and it was roughly between 12 and 18% of all home visit activity when we ran the trial. There's a lot of clinical impact and clinical benefits in reducing those delays uh, and, and keeping people uh, safer at home. And it, even though in the trials it was very GP-centric, we the, the matching that we do with the skill set, with the patient needs, is absolutely the way to start utilising other workforce, um, like advanced nurse prescribers, paramedics, a whole array of people that can support, are probably better suited to meeting the needs of those patients. We had a lot of, um, SBRI was very interesting, look at economical savings um, in terms of our model, um, and that's the numbers that they came up with from an independent point of view. And it's really about how we match the clinicians, how we allocate the right patient to the right person at the right time, and we also introduced uh, something that turned itself on its head in terms of the way we pay the doctors. Um, normally, you're paid an hourly rate, and productivity can be variable. When we run out of, um, when we need more doctors, we, need, we put out to agencies, cost goes up, productivity tends to go down. So there's a lot of inequity, a lot of gaming in that system. So our, al our algorithms really aim to look at putting the right price, which is the best possible price for the NHS and providers, at the same time, which is acceptable to clinicians and reflective of their time and their skill set. We're working with many partners, a lot of them local, um, in terms of evaluation and trialling it. We're working with um, federations in Leeds and Huddersfield um, and many of the partners that are here today. And this is just a testimonial uh, of the, um, the out of hours provider and the first Dockerbill GP that rang me up just telling me all about it. And I just said to her, can I catch you on video saying that? And she, and she agreed. I think that all of us at LCG are really excited about the possibility that we'll be able to enter the next phase of development of Dockerbird. We all see it as resolving our workforce crisis. We've seen the evidence of that in the pilot and we think that will be the same for most organisations in the country. I thought it was an exciting way of working. What I really loved about it was uh, the convenience, the flexibility, the ability to work from home. And what was even greater was the feedback that I got from the patients. They loved it, the prompt service. And actually the 10 visits that I did during the trial, I'm sure two of them, I avoided an unplanned admission. I'm really excited about Dockerboard. I can see so many potential applications, especially moving forward and looking at the new models of care. So really the ask is, you know, we're looking for, we've got some early adopters, we're looking for people to, to work with us and trial it. We absolutely, this isn't about replacing any of the core services in the NHS, it's working alongside them. And we've shown that there's an appetite, we've shown that um, patients will benefit from this and that there will be a health economic benefit. It's working alongside other innovators here, um, alongside existing systems. So the ask is, come and have a chat with us. Um, we're at early days yet, but we're absolutely looking to expand and, and work with like-minded innovators to, to make this happen and, and work for your organisations. Thank you very much.